Hi, I'm Jake and I'm going to walk you through the steps for proper maintenance on your Hoover Dual Spin Carpet Washer. After you finish cleaning, make sure it's turned off and unplugged. To remove the dirty water tank, grab the handle and pull it out. Place the tank next to your sink, tub, or wherever you wish to empty it. Unlatch the lid and lift off the top. Before you empty, make sure to remove the filter basket. You can now pour out the dirty tank and rinse all parts under running water, then set them aside to dry. Next, remove the nozzle by tilting the cleaner back and pulling this latch. Rinse the nozzle under running water and set it aside to dry. The brush rolls have an antimicrobial embedded coating that helps block pet odors. However, we recommend cleaning them often to keep your carpet cleaner fresh. To clean the brushes, simply wipe off any debris with a wet cloth. If you need to access the belt, you can lay the carpet washer down and use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the six labeled screws that hold the brush end caps and belt covers in place. Remove the covers and the brushes to access or replace the belt. To put it back together, align the end of the brushes and push them into place. Replace the two covers and re-secure the six screws. Once all parts are clean and dry, it all goes back together the same way it came apart. Attach the nozzle cover by aligning the tabs on the nozzle and latch it back into place. Next, place the filter basket back into the tank and the lid back on by lining up the tab with the notch. Then tilt it closed and latch it shut. Place the front edge here and tilt it back into place. And that's it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at hoover.com.